Good afternoon, Patriots. Uh, I'm just going to wait here and see how many people actually come in. And uh, we're going to be talking with regards to Blaine Cooper and today's testimony. Um, especially after listening to Kelly Stewart's uh, live feed, which is why I'm coming out with this live feed. And um, hopefully we can get some progress going and change the direction, the narrative of what Blaine Cooper is stating inside the courtroom. So uh, I guess there's a couple of people. This is good. So this is progress. Uh, <clears throat> let me start by saying now that aiding and abetting is still considered a crime. So let me clarify that. Aiding and abetting is still considered a crime. Meaning if you aid and abet the enemy, that is treason. Now, let's go with respect to Blaine Cooper's testimony. Uh, I strongly believe that Blaine Cooper was under duress and being mentally abused or psychologically abused by the de facto government. Uh, the description that Kelly, Kelly Stewart provided to us during her live feed and, and, how, and how Blaine Cooper has lost a lot of body weight, it's imperative to understand the state of mind that he is in today. This will support a lot of the video, a lot of the testimony, meaning the conversations I had with Blaine Cooper personally on a one on one conversation in which I will post the phone numbers that Co Blaine Cooper and I had interaction. Also, there are tapes that were recorded. These conversations by Roy by Roy Plum. Roy Plum needs to come out with these tape recordings immediately to support everything I stated. I also informed the people that needed to know with regards to Blaine Cooper's testimony and to subpoena Blaine Cooper's, uh, all Blaine Cooper's uh, recordings between him and I. Now, I do not know if the lawyers ever got that information. I do know that that information went to the right people. I also do know that, that, that with that information, why didn't they come and subpoena me and subpoena these recordings? Now, why subpoena me? Subpoena me with regards to how Blaine Cooper was stating under duress of the, within the facility that he was bent, being bent, mentally abused, being mentally breaking down to testify against our patriots. This is not my words. This is him basically stating that he cannot take it any longer and that he needs to go home to his wife and kids. It's totally understandable. But for the, for the de facto government to abuse Blaine Cooper and to break him down mentally is abusive and should not be tolerated. That is torture. All right. Torture is illegal. Now, with respect to the, to the lawyers, why didn't any of the lawyers object to Blaine Cooper's testimony with regards to Sugar Pine Mine, okay, Malheur Refuge, and the Bunkerville and what happened in Bunkerville. All right, let me tell you, let me break it down. Sugar Pine Mine was Stuart Rhodes under the Oath Keepers. Okay, this is the same Stuart Rhodes that was supposedly we're going to provide cover for the Malheur Refuge and provide the same mechanism, mechanism of defense against the de facto government, what he did in Nevada. Now, the communication that I had with Terry, uh, Terry Linnell proves otherwise and contradicts the reason why Stuart Rhodes was in Sugar Pine Mine and why he was in Nevada and not at the Malheur Wildlife Refuge. So we have to understand that, that, that they should have objected any motion with regards to Sugar Pine Mine because of Stuart Rhodes and his hands in the cookie jar with the minerals under XV Investments. Okay, XV Investments, silver and gold. Do your research on that XV Investments. Also, with regards to Nevada, he wanted to make a notoriety, make a name of himself using the Bundy Ranch. Everybody knows that Stuart Rhodes was in hiding when everything went down. After everything came out, he started giving out all the Oath Keepers memorabilia. Terry Linnell can validate this information, including other Oath Keepers out there that are willing to testify to what I'm stating here. Why, are, why the de facto government... And the public pretenders are not objecting 
to blame Cooper's testimony is because they have investments under the Oregon Legislative Investment Council that ties into their hedge funds. All right. This is why you got Uranium One. All right. You have a Calico Resource that just joined with Barrick Gold Inc. under Harry Reid and George Soros. Why haven't they subpoenaed anybody from Uranium One CEOs, board of directors, and lobbyists? Why haven't they subpoenaed Barrick Gold Inc. and Calico Resources CEO, board of directors, and lobbyists? Maybe Stephen Bevelin, Harry Reid's brother-in-law, should be subpoenaed. Because he's behind Barrick Gold Inc. All these people that I'm naming need to be subpoenaed. And I am telling you, why isn't the public pretender subpoenaing these individuals? We got, we got Ron Wyden with his son in hedge funds. Why is he not being subpoenaed? Including his investments in the Oregon Investment Council. That ties into these minerals in the Oregon. Why not Anna Aikens? Why not Sally Amanda Marshall? Why not Stacey Beckerman? Why not Ron Wyden? Why not Jeff Merkley? Why not Greg Walden? Why Stephen E. Grassy? Why not David Ward? Dan Nichols? Pete Reynolds? Why not Boyd Britton? Andy Bentz? Cliff Bentz? All these criminals behind Uranium One and Calico Resource and other mining corporations. But those are the two main priorities because they always stand out for the Oregonians. This is why they use the front, the Center of Biological Diversity by, by Karen Suckling to land grab, to steal the land, the water, the lumber, and the minerals. Now coming to Blaine Cooper's testimony and why this is vital, with the, the ties to Uranium One, the Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton Foundation, Bill Clinton Foundation, all these criminals are tied to these minerals, which is protecting, which Blaine, Blaine Cooper's testimony is protecting these criminals. I'm not saying that Blaine Cooper was doing his right or wrong. What I'm stating is that he's been doing it under duress. He stated that in numerous records that have been recorded, in which Roy Plum needs to come and bring these recordings out, and the, and the video recording, and the testimonies, the recordings that I had with Blaine Cooper it, while he was incarcerated unlawfully incarcerated needs to come out why hasn't the damn lawyers subpoenaed these recordings why isn't the damn lawyer subpoenaing me i told these people what blaine cooper was going to say and to be aware i can take screenshots and post them but i will not do that until somebody explains to me why they haven't subpoenaed these recordings Only you Oregonians and patriots. With regards to our military, you need to know this. With regards to the old, the good old keepers, you need to know this. With respect to the three percenters, you need to know this. With respect to all the American citizens that believe on our Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights... And the Federalist Papers, you need to know this. You need to rise and cut and to our military come back home. Treason is being perpetrated on our republic. These are facts which I have evidence to prove in front of a congressional hearing. Why isn't this corrupt judge Anna J. Brown and Anna Akins and, and Gloria Navarro? Why haven't, haven't any senator or congressman done a grand hearing investigation against these criminals? Because they're criminals. They are being appointed by Barack Hussein Obama and, his, and Bill Clinton himself. Our patriots will not get justice until a grand jury investigation is provided immediately. This is what the Patriots stood for. They stood to protect the land of the Hammonds. They stood to prevent Russia from getting the uranium. This is, they, they stood against Uranium One. They stood against all the defecto government in Oregon. 
All the people that did recalls on Stephen E. Grassi and Boyd Britton need to be recounted, especially the mail-in votes. Because when fraud is perpetrated, everything is null and void. And everything they have done is treasonous and void through fraud. So we should not be surprised and blame Cooper's testimony. Nobody here should be t t a surprise, especially those that I told them, in which I informed them, including Roy Plum. I'm not saying that Roy Plum is in it. I'm not saying that Roy Plum is covering it. But he has those recordings, and those recordings need to come out immediately for the patriots to understand what happened and behind the scenes. I cannot sit down and stay quiet. I will not sit down and stay quiet. Because of the treasonous act they're committing. So what are we supposed to do? One of the things that Kelly, Sarah, Kelly Stewart told me a long time ago. In the beginning back in April 2006. What are we supposed to do? A grand jury investigation. Started common law grand jury. Scalia's wrote it in 1992. People have the power. We are the fourth branch of government to stop these treasonous, tyrannical government. And that's what they are, tyrannical. This is why our founding fathers wrote the Declaration of Independence. Before the Constitution. Before the Bill of Rights. Before the Federalist Papers. And we need to educate ourselves and empower ourselves. So how are we going to turn this around? Easy. This tape needs to go to Trump. For those out there that say they have connections with Trump, send this video. I am not hard to find. I have the evidence in numerous locations. I am not the only one with the evidence. And it's time to bring these criminals down. Because that's what they are, criminals. They're aiding and abetting by giving uranium to Russia. To Iran, to China, to ISIS. This has been proven. Not just by me, but by Fox News. And congressional hearings. And WikiLeaks. This is the evidence that needs to be done and brought out immediately. Why is it the damn lawyers not bringing these documents out? Because they're in it. They're all from the Lewis and Law Lewis, the Lewis and Clark Law School. That's where they're from. And most of the members from the Lewis and Clark Law School are aiding and abetting the enemy. And all appointed by Barack Hussein Obama and Hillary Clinton. I mean, Bill Clinton. So whose interests are they looking for? Or as a matter of fact, whose best interests are they going to be looking out for? Our patriots? Blaine Cooper? Blaine Cooper's wife? Blaine Cooper's children? Daryl Thorne? The Bundys? Shauna Cox? LaVoy Finnegan? LaVoy family? Jeanette Finnegan? Carol Bundy? Who are they going to look out for? They ain't going to look out for any of them. They're railroading them. They're throwing them under the bus because they stood for what they stood for the, as patriot for, for the Hammonds and for what was right. Under the Constitution. This is why I'm coming out today. What's happening in that courtroom today is not a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Blaine Cooper, I guarantee you Blaine Cooper would be tortured inside that. Either mentally or physically tortured. One or the other. But at the end of the day, torture is torture. And anybody that's there for a year and being broken down psychologically because of psychological warfare going on and behind these concentration camps, they're not even prisons. They're concentration camps. You need to be informed. We need to educate the American people. We all need to stand strong. And this evidence needs to come out. I don't understand how many recordings, how many documents I have to come out to get somebody's attention in Washington, D.C. with regards to the Donald Trump. 
administration. What is going on? Patriots, this is for you to ask. This is for you to demand. If you don't demand, then who will? We got people innocent. Joy Robinson also unlawfully incarcerated. And a judge by the name of Malloy that was appointed by Bill Clinton. We have ranchers around the country, around the United States, losing their property and standing up for their land, for their property, against this defective government, but nobody's listening and nobody's doing anything except for the bunnies and the Finnegans and our patriots. <clears throat> so, Sugar Pine Mine, anything that had during the cross-examination with Sugar Pine Mine should have been voided. They should have objected. Stuart Rhodes knows why. Ask Stuart Rhodes. Ask how much millions Stuart Rhodes made. Or thousands, a hundred thousands. <clears throat> I want the three percenters to understand this. Stuart Rhodes needs to be subpoenaed. If Blake Cooper was allowed to talk about about about. Sugar Pine Mine in Josephine County, Stuart Rhodes should be subpoenaed. And I will provide the documents on why, on why Blaine Cooper, Blaine Cooper's testimony should be cross-examined and provide and subpoena Stuart Rhodes' financial records, all with the mining industry. That's what needs to happen. Anybody that profited in any of the minerals are aiding and abetting. That means you, Stuart Rhodes. Ron Wyden, Kate Brown, Anna Akins, Anna J. Brown, Boyd Brain, Cliff Bentz, King Williams, <clears throat> Andy Bentz, all these criminals, Stephen E. Grassy, let's not forget him. David Ward for protecting for protecting Stephen E. Grassy, Dan Nichols, Pete Reynolds, all these criminals. And by the way, they're contaminating your water. That'll be for a later date. A video will be coming out with regards to Greg Walden and Ron White and Jeff Merkley contaminating your water. And why you guys and your, the Oregonians have, 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 uh, have cancer. This will be coming out and I will coming out with the evidence. So now we have... What's called the military industrial complex through your through Clinton Foundation Uranium One Calico Resource or Barrett Gold Inc. These minerals, this uranium, is going to our enemies and to and to create chemical weapons. I mean for Christ for, for crying out loud. Extracting the damn uranium is becoming radioactive. What do you think when they, when, when they create a bomb? These are facts. But America, it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. I advise everybody to stand in that Patriot corner with Kelly and all the Patriots and Maureen you know, John Lamb, stand up tall. We have to. And somehow, get this recording everywhere. To Alex Jones, to DL, DML, to, uh, to Outlaw, Outlaw Morgan. Everybody needs to hear this. Because this affects everybody. And let the evidence speak for itself. Because high treason is being committed while we're sending our military overseas. To fight who? The same enemies we are arming. This is why they're this is why they need to mentally break down Blaine Cooper. To make the Patriots look like terrorists. When they're not. The real terrorists are within the de facto government. <clears throat> we need to understand this. We must understand this, and we have to understand this. I beg all you guys, 
everyone out there in the in alternative media. Look at the evidence. Let the evidence speak for itself. Don't allow me to persuade you. I'll bring you the evidence. I, ho I truly hope that this video gets to Donald Trump. Someone is the administration. And I truly hope that Roy Plum brings all these video, all, all these recordings out. And I truly hope that all the, the lawyers, the, the public pretenders, decide to subpoena either me, Roy Plum, with regards to these conversations with Blaine Cooper. And how the de facto government mentally broke him down through torture. But let the evidence speak for itself. Let the recording speak for itself. So everything that Blaine Cooper is saying, don't take it as a grain of salt. Because what ha what's happening behind those prison bars, we do not know but what Blaine Cooper has, has stated. All I'm saying to you, patriots... What if it, what if we were Blaine Cooper? What if we were in his shoes? Would we be able to handle any type of torture or a psychological warfare, a mental breakdown? This is what the defecto government and Killary Foundation and John Budista, Budesta and all these criminals like Ron White and Kate Brown are doing to our patriots, trying to psychologically and mentally break them down. Because it's not convenient for the truth to come out. So I'm begging you, patriots, don't take it with a grain of salt. I guarantee you Blaine Cooper is probably put in, in a position, this predicament, that he doesn't want to be in. But let the recording speak for itself. These recordings need to come out. And made public for everyone to listen. He can only call. He can only call so many people. Remember, all these all these phone calls cost ten, fifteen, twenty, forty dollars. Roy Plum knows. Roy, Roy Plum. I sent Roy Plum money so Blaine Cooper can communicate with us. And and Blaine Cooper and Roy Plum has spent a lot of money in the communication between myself. Blaine Cooper and himself. Just just keep Blaine Cooper positive. But I honestly think that this man was mentally broken down. This psychological warfare behind these criminal walls need to be exposed. So once again, I truly hope this 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 live stream goes to the hands of Donald Trump because honestly I don't know where to go. We can't go to any politician because most of the politicians are corrupt. We can't go to the judges because all the judges are corrupt. Part of the American Bar Association, the Lewis and Law Lewis and Clark Law School. We can't go to them. We can't go to the sheriff David War because he's corrupt. With, with Brian Wolf, he's corrupt. So who are you going to go to? You can't go to the Sheriff's Association because Brian Wolf is the, is the president of the Oregon Association, Sheriff's Association. So you can't go to them because that's corrupt. You can't go to the FBI because Brent Singh is corrupt. Cover it up. You can't go to James Comey because he's the director of the FBI that's corrupt. You can't go to the, the, the uh, Oregon... Judicial misconduct because Anna J. Brown's in it. You can't go to the American Bar Association because guess what? All these members from the Lewis and Law Clark School are part of the American Bar Association. So who are you going to go to? You tell me. All these members of the American Bar Association hold office. There are public officials covering each other up. 
And people won't accept it, won't acknowledge it. And it's a damn truth. All I'm saying is that with with Donald Trump there is a, he he's a, he's our hiccup. He's he's the one that right now is giving us life support. He is the one that we need to rally behind to get our patriots back home. We need to rise. And we can no longer sit and sit and idle. We have to march. No different than the libertards. And I challenge you. Any liberal protest that happens in your area to, part, to go against. I will take. I will lead that march. I promise you. Wherever I am at. There is a liberal march. I will be there. This is how we're going to take the narrative back. And we're going to show them how George Soros, the Hillary Foundation, Hillary Clinton herself with Ron White and Kate Brown are destroying our country. At the same time using our military as pawns. While they sacrifice their life, tears and sweat and blood. Why are we sending our military home? We need our military back home. We need our military to support Donald Trump. And we need the military to start arresting these criminals, treasonous. <coughs> they need to. Article 3, Section 3. Treason. If you don't do it for the country, do it for your children. Because the war is not over the seas. The war is here. In our republic. In our soil. Look at the evidence. Look at the documents. That's all I got to say. Look at the evidence and look at the documents. Read it for yourself. <clears throat> Because we can no longer go continue going this path. America, you know, God bless us all. And I really truly wish that uh that these public pretenders decide to do the right thing and start subpoenaing the right people and bring them to testify. And bring out the truth. You know. On my behalf. And I'm begging you. I'm asking you. Do not hold this against Blaine Cooper. Hold it against a defective government for torturing him. For mentally breaking him down. Pray for his kids. Pray for his wife. No different than we pray for the Bundys. And the Fennekins. And Joe Robinson. <clears throat> and Schaefer Cox, there's a lot of people out there. I beg you to pray for these people, pray for their family. They're going through a tough time right now. And I don't want to be in their shoes, but I'm willing to take that role in exposing these criminals. That is my role. My role is to take the evidence to wherever I have to go to vindicate our patriots and bring these criminals from the defective government Incarcerated or hung for treason. Article 3, Section 3. So, uh, to everyone, I want to say thank you for your support. Uh, thank you for your time. And God bless us all. I will be providing the phone calls that happened between myself and Blaine Cooper. I'll be posting them right after this, after I finish this and that's it. And now the powers to be know... And the world knows about these recordings. So if they ever want to suppress these recordings or my testimony, then you guys know the truth. So God bless everyone and take care.